All right, so today we have a few projects going on. The biggest one is, though, is to wire up the ARB fridge into the Jeep with this kit. So let's move the vehicles around and get this started. Now what we'll do is we'll take this and bend our sidewards like that because it's going to be easier to get her through. And then come in here and start working her nice and gently like. And I think we got her this time. I feel some of the tape coming through. Oh, lucky there and that's how you do it welding rod welding rod or coat hanger actually works better because it's longer but yeah this it's a good method to pull and wire through stuff if you have a wire pull that's even better but I have one I just don't know where it went and now what we can do is we can carefully Mangle some wire through here now. So when you get this, I was perplexed, but I'm not very smart, so. But when you get this, this is how it comes. Uh, when you get this, this is how it comes, just like this. And you look at this and you go, holy crap, that uh, no worky worky, right? And then you look at it, and you go, wait a minute, I thought there was threads on this thing. So what I did is I started taking it apart. I was like, okay, obviously that unthreads. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. So then you go that, and then that just goes in here. And you're thinking, well, holy shit, does it thread in? Why, yes. Yes, it does. That's a smart design right there. I like that. Um, also, if you look on the bottom here, I experimented with it too. This nut, you can remove with your fingers, actually. Uh, and then you can take this and you could surface mount just this piece. So this box in my hand here, you could just surface mount that if you wanted to. Like, um, for example, like straight into the back of this console, if you wanted to surface mount it, you definitely could. Or into the sidewall here, into the sidewall here, or here, or wherever. You could surface mount it if you wanted to. We're going to do something different, though. I'm going to keep this box. Um... Uh, the nice thing too is if you surface mount it, the rubber grommet dill stays with the the actual little mounting thing here, not the not the box. It stays with the actual uh, plug. It's the word I'm looking for. Plug. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the wire underneath the carpet now. There we go. Now we're gonna put this, cut it, eliminate it. So these are the terminators that give you terminating the wire. So, there's where I have it mounted, and 
just so you're curious, this is actually pretty well thought out. Um, on the inside of there, there are little markings that tell you what's positive and negative because on the actual uh, ARV cable that you get for the fridge, um, well, let's see, let me show you. It's just a black cable, so I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere in here. Uh, it's just a black cable, so you'd probably be confused on what's positive and negative, but even it on the face that actually mates up in here, uh, it will tell you, it'll tell you, it'll sh have two little markings that show you, uh, it's probably a better spot for that. Cool, but I have them reversed. Alrighty, let's see. 12 volts right off the battery. So now we can plug our fridge into it and see. What okay, what I know is in most cars, uh, like in the Jeep, like most cars, uh, the cigarette lighter or the 12 volt outlet is not up to snuff. The wire is not thick enough to carry the current to the fridge. Hence why we have to put this in. Um, and it's, it's actually not that. When the, tr when the Jeep is running, there's enough, current for, um, there's enough current for the fridge to draw and not trip, uh, which is fine. And even when it's off, it's fine. What happens is that plug heats up because 12 volts aren't that great at uh, carrying current. The little cigarette lighter ends aren't very good at carrying current, so they heat up and then they cause resistance. And there's not very thick wire behind there, so too much resistance will just cause the fridge to trip so it doesn't hurt anything in your vehicle, which is nice. Um, the other downside to it is, you know, you'd have to string a wire all the way over here. And I drive a manual, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. And, uh... Alrighty, so I got the cable. I got the fridge. Ignore the janky light setup. That's so the camera can pick all this up, even though you probably can't see down here. So plug that in there and that's not going to be long enough okay all right so let me come in here plug that in like that that works pretty nicely actually And this is actually so I can put the fridge on the inside. I'm just doing this for a demonstration. And then come down here. Boom. And it's on. And then what we can do is we can actually go look at the voltage of the battery. You guys probably won't be able to see this. Uh, mine's, my meter's not sensitive enough to see all the voltage, but... Yeah, normally you'd have a problem running off the cigarette outlet. Plus, this is a much cleaner install because I won't have wires draped through here. I highly recommend this kit. It's a nice kit. Uh, it keeps everything nice and uh, neat out of the way. And sure, we're good. I'm going to leave it plugged in here for a few minutes just to see. But I'll clean it all up and we'll get everything back together. And uh, this is just one more thing to get out of the way before we hit our big trip. So, cool. Let's clean everything up and uh, take a look at her inside the Jeep. Okay, so mine's a mess, obviously, but that's how it will go. Plug into here. Nice and tight. See, it can't wiggle out. Into the fridge. And from here, we'll be able to turn the fridge on like that. And then what I'll use to secure it is the hook down here. 
that you probably can't see and the foot one loops that are already on the floor. I do have the mounting kit, but I put stuff here. And so uh, I don't really need to drill through this because I have this toughy security box. Um, I can put the fridge on top of that and that's where those mounts will stay for now anyway. Uh, I think the footman loops will be fine. And the reason I have this setup is so, you know, when I go for long overlanding trips, uh, I can put the fridge in here and pack this full of stuff and make this more livable and then I'll tow my trailer. And uh, the trailer will be really nice to have. Pack it full of stuff. And then uh, this can kind of be the most accessible stuff and the trailer can kind of be the stuff that uh, isn't, doesn't need to be as accessible, but I need to have with us. Um, so that's, that's the thing I'm thinking that's the way it will go. Eventually, maybe I'll put the fridge in the trailer, uh, but that's way down the road. <laughs>